All right. Hey, YouTube. This is the end. My only friend. The end. Jim Morrison, right? Yeah, this is it. Uh, the cold has come and hit us. And everything is now frostbit and, and go going. So we're picking up some of the last remnants. We had a lot of green tomatoes left. But we got some red ones we're going to have to get out of here. Um, cucumber plant, as we talked about. Um, has still got cucumbers like anybody go back to the first video like we did back in beginning of June end of May I guess and this thing was like nothing <laughs> it's partners in crime we're done and this is still putting out fruit and vegetables so the cucumber plant hardy hardy individual but our tomatoes have been doing great all year and our big beef tomatoes like didn't come in till the very end so we've only we've got we had a few the last couple weeks and now they're starting to really get in and now the cold hit it's been uh yeah right around 34 36 a couple nights in a row here this week so um some of our late blooming tomatoes these guys are late coming in um so we're gonna we're gonna wrap up these guys We'll be pulling all these tomato plants out um, here. The uh, broccoli and cauliflower are holding out. Um, just picked a cut, little bit of that. But uh, here's more tomatoes. Just a ton of tomatoes still to round up. Still got melons out here. Uh, we're gonna see how long these guys can hold on to finish ripening up. It's supposed to not be much colder so we're gonna hold out on these guys I was checking them earlier I didn't see any completely ripe ones I picked like four this past weekend um, so pumpkins to hold on to and let them just finish what they're doing our, our cantaloupe we got a couple ripe ones in the beginning and they've kind of died out since then and so we've not had a ton of cantaloupe and these guys you can see are uh, not uh, gonna be ready doesn't look like in time we'll see if this guy might be ready this guy might be the last survivor right here so we'll hold on to him today but yeah these watermelons that needs to be a better way to preserve watermelon <laughs> i guess you just can't dehydrate it there's not really much use for it other than feeding the animals now whatever comes out in the end here but yeah, this is the end of the garden. Um, it's done really well. Uh, no complaints. I really wanted to, uh, or I, I wouldn't say I really wanted to, because I really wanted to, I wouldn't have done it. I wanted to like get a poundage count at the beginning and see how many pounds of food we got out of it. But uh, that just wasn't to be, is too too much chaos. I mean, and I was thinking about what like goal-wise, Hold on, guys. You just hold on over there. Goal-wise, what would have been a good pound? I was thinking like a thousand pounds. If you got a thousand pounds of food out of here, that'd be a good garden, right? It's kind of hard to. I think the the melons and the pumpkins kind of skew that number. Uh, here's our pepper plants, jalapenos. We're gonna just pull all these. There's tons of jalapenos have come out of these. I remember back when the cold snap hit the beginning of the year, these things didn't look like they were going to make it. Especially that guy right there. And this last two weeks or month, he's uh, put in some work on that plant right there. Um, so all the pepper plants have exceeded what we expected at the beginning of the year. Um, I talked about it, the bean plants um, just got decimated about a month and a half ago or so. Right about when, I don't know, in the second big smoke era. That's <laughs> best, best way to best way to describe it. They got decimated about a month and a half ago. And so we just pulled and let them go. Um, potato plants were still waiting to hold on to pull them. So there you can see we've got it all. They're all doing their thing. We're letting them die off here. And so maybe this weekend we might uh, pull the tomato potatoes. Mm. 
this one looks like they're holding on a little bit long maybe another week we'll see how they look saturday and we might get some potatoes out of the ground so that is the garden update for the year i think uh, we'll get a poundage count on our potatoes hopefully we'll at least see what we got out of that but it would have been nice to see how much food i mean yeah i probably i probably hit a thousand pounds especially if we count all these green tomatoes that we're going to have coming out of here here at the end like tomato plants are still littered with tomatoes um just buckets upon buckets of tomatoes and there were days where we just had buckets more than one bucket of just tomatoes and then everything else um figure a bucket probably pulled in about 15 pounds did that a couple times a week that adds up so it's been a good year for the garden pretty satisfied remember we talked about the things that happened at the beginning um with the cold and having to jump through hoops for that corn did not produce the way i would have liked but you know we learned some stuff there definitely want to expand it next year with the corn like i didn't just hand you a bunch of snacks my goodness worse than teenagers worse than teenagers they are um sunflowers we pulled several heads of sunflowers these are the last remaining little guys um we've pulled several big heads and got them wrapped up you can see we've cut these guys off over here there we cut several off from uh for the seeds and whatnot this guy i guess i could cut this guy he's pretty big uh, see if there's anything here is there a snack here i can grab you guys so you'll hush for a minute Let's see what we got they're picky picky eaters so the garden has been a success i think this different type of watermelon one thing i pulled out of this we didn't really figure out when it was a good gauge when it was ripe i pulled one that was they said go by the color on the underside like a cream color and it wasn't even ripe yet we pulled one of those we got one early on that was good and then the second one wasn't so i don't know we'll pull these with uh, as we go to feed the animals probably and see I better judge some of them would rot in the field we had a couple that did that when they were just like this size without any color on them just solid green so it's hard to get a gauge on what these guys ripeness level was what kind of the sugar baby watermelon is that what they're called i think that's what we got yeah sugar baby watermelon and i just never did figure out like this right here like that was supposed to be ripe but we pulled one last week and it was still not ready uh, barely had any red on the inside so i don't know i might pull that one right there right now and get a gauge but might have something to do with just the time of year it's not uh, earlier in the year maybe this didn't come in on time and uh but we got several big pumpkins these guys holding out hopefully we don't get below freezing i don't think we're supposed to get below freezing this next week so give all this stuff a chance to ripen up to be determined but I hope everybody had a good summer preparing for winter. Um, we got some freezing to do with, we got to butcher some animals. Get some animals put away, some protein, such as it is. The supposed big uh, food shortage is supposed to be hitting us. <laughs> um, you know, I think it just depends on kind of where you live and what to expect but i don't know just do what you can with what you got and everything else will just work itself out you know everything else will just happen the way it happens you just got to flex and be flexible and adjust be prepared to ration be prepared to you know do what you got to do with what you got you know There's nothing more you can do than that so thanks for checking in youtube this is the end of the garden <laughs> the apocalypse now reference for those that know uh, 
that's what I was thinking of when I was singing that at the beginning. Uh, so, y'all be good, YouTube. Prep hard, the freak.